Hi, my name is Donna and we're going to be doing arm toning and core today. So what you're going to need is a light set of weights anywhere from one to five pounds. If you don't have weights, you do not have to use them. We're going to start with just a little bit of warm up for your shoulders and arms. So just going to start rolling those shoulders back because we want to warm up those shoulder joints and the arms before we start going. So the first part is all arms. We're going to just keep moving through it. Three, two, and now we're going to reach up right left. So just reach up, get a little tap. Reach up, nice long arms. Get that nice stretch to your side. I'm gonna go for four more. So take it up for four, three, two. Big circles with your arms, so circle it around. Good. Oh, and let me introduce Joanne is behind me. She will be joining us today in the video. Showing you some modifications. So four, three, two, reach it back up. So reach up. I'm gonna do eight of these, so four more. So it's four, three, two, circle the arms. Big circles right here. Good, keep going for four more. So it's four, three, two. We're gonna hold it right here, bring your arms forward, and just pull back. So I want you to think about squeezing those shoulder backs behind you, and keep going. You can bring your feet closer together right here. Let's go for four more, so it's four, three, two, and one, bring the arms down and just roll those shoulders back again. So it's just a quick little warm up. We'll do four more. So it's four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna start, we're gonna grab your weights. So you're gonna grab those weights, whatever weight you have, you can always drop the weights too. We're gonna stand in the Pilates stance. So your heels are together. I want you to super glue your inner thighs, squeezing your glutes. Palms are right out in front right here. And we're gonna lift up on a slight angle. So we're gonna be doing 10 reps. Three, four, five. Focus on keeping everything engaged. Six, seven, eight. You got two more of these. Up. Your last one. Keep the arms down. Now you're just going to turn the palms to face away. Same movement with the arms up and down. Abs are pulling in tight. Now if you have shoulder injuries, you want to might keep this low or don't even use weights at all. Keep this going. Four. Three, two, this will be your last one. We're gonna hold it down here, keeping the palms right here. We're gonna bicep curl four times. Four, three, two, and one. Hold the arms down, you're gonna take them up a little bit higher and curl again. One, two, it's gonna get harder each time. We're gonna go up that little bit higher. And last one, now bring the arms all the way up and pull in. You don't have to go this high, you can stay lower. You can always keep dropping weights if you need to. And this will be your last one right here. Bring the arms down. We're gonna take it to arm circles. So you're gonna bring your arms up, take them out and bring them back down. Up and circle around. So we wanted to focus on that lower body, keeping the inner thighs engaged and your glutes. You can also make this a little circle. So if going up too high is too much, keep it a small circle. Like Joanne's doing the smaller circle right now. Two more, out, and this will be your last one. We will switch directions, so take it out and back in. Might be a little bit harder, pull it in. Standing up nice and tall. Four, five, six, we've got four more of these. So it's four, three, two, and one. Okay, just roll those shoulders back. You're gonna take your feet so they're parallel. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. I'm gonna just bend down into my hips, keep my abs in tight. We're gonna go into some rear flies. So elbows are slightly bent, and we're gonna lift up and lower down. So you wanna focus on keeping your shoulder blades pulled down. Three, four, five, six. And be careful what you're doing your back. You don't want around, so we don't want that. We want a nice flat back. Two, one more like this, and now hold it down. We're gonna take it up for a three count. So you're gonna go one, two, three, and lower down. Lift, two, three, lower down. Think about pulling those abs in as you lift those arms up. Good, and up, two, three. We have five more. One, two, three, lower down, and lift. Two, three, and down. Three, two, three, lower down, two, Good, one more, up, two, three, bring it down. Now turn the palms back, one hand in front of the other. Elbows are gonna stay bent, we're gonna bring it up, and then lower down, pull up. So you're alternating what hand goes in front. 
So five, six, seven, eight. You got two more, nine. You're gonna hold it up right here. Shoulder blades down and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and bring it down. Stand yourself all the way up. Roll those shoulders back. Go back to that Pilates stance. We're gonna repeat everything we just did. Okay, we're gonna add a little movement with the feet too. So the palms are gonna face in. Lateral raise right up here to lift the heels up and then lower down. So try to keep those heels super glued together. And lift, three, and four, and five. There you go, six. Joanne, just take your arms out a little bit further. There you go. If that bothers you, go back to the front, right? Couple more of these. Take it up. This will be your last one. Now hold it down here, turn the palms out. And same thing with the feet, lift the arms, lift the heels. This is also working balance by lifting those heels up for three, four, or five, yep, <laughs> six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10, bring it down. So we're gonna go to those arm circles. This time, lift the heels and stay lifted, lift. You're gonna find the challenge with the balance. If you need to drop those heels back down, you can do that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You got two more. Up, this be your last one. Hold it here, reverse it. That gets tired after a while. And circle around for two. Four. Remember, you could always drop those weights for five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. All right, lower down, roll those shoulders back. Okay, so we're gonna go back to those bicep curls. Heels are back together again. Turn the palms out, keep them low for the first four. Curl up, full extension of your arm. Up, two more. Your last one. Now we're gonna bring the arms up just a little bit more and curl, one, two. Remember, you could always keep the arms all the way down if you need to. Last one, good. Now bring them all the way up and curl for four, three, yep, two. Your last one, bring it all the way down. Turn your feet so they're parallel, going back to those rear flies. So soften into your knees so your abs are in tight, nice flat back, and we're gonna lift lower down. Keep those shoulder blades pulling down. Three. There you go. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Three counts up right here. So it's up. Two. Three. And be careful if you start to feel tension in that neck. Get rid of the weights. Two. Three. And lower down. Up. Two. Three. Lower down. Four. Good. Keep it going. Seven, three more, up, two, three, lift. Last one, good. Hold it down, turn the palms back, and elbows stay bent and lift, lower down, and lift. Shoulder blades down, abs in tight. And four, yep, five, six, seven, eight, you have two more, up. Hold it up here, right here, shoulders and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do an extra 10 right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And roll those shoulders back. Okay, so we're gonna go right now into a tricep series with balance, all right? So we're gonna take your feet about shoulder width apart. Our arms are gonna be straight, so straight the whole time. We're gonna bend your knees, Arms stand, extend back behind you. We're gonna stand up tall and balance. All right, so we're gonna drop down, stand up tall, lift the left leg. Ready, here we go. Just drop down, stand up nice and tall. Think about too, as you're bringing that knee up, you pull those abs in. So drop it down and lift up. And lower and lift. Five and up. Six. Eight. We got two more like this, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna add on to it. On this next one, stay down here and pulse for three. Up, 
two, three, stand up tall, lift that knee up. Again, pulse, two, three, left knee up. One, two, three, stand tall. Two, three, Just feel that burn. Three, and up, down, three. You got four more to go. And stand tall, and up, two, three, lift, one, two, three, lift up, last one, two, three, and up. Roll shoulders back, but we're gonna go back down to that position with bent knee. This time you're gonna keep your elbows up nice and high, shoulders down. Tricep extension, extend back one, and two, three. Keep this going for four. We're gonna turn the position, so when you go back, turn the palms up and hold it, bend back down, up and hold, and drop. Hold it. Keep this going, we're almost there. You got four more to go. So it's four, three. How you doing, Joanne? Feel it. And last one, stand yourselves all the way up, roll your shoulders back, take the hands so they're by your side. We're just gonna press back, bring it in. So just pressing. So opening up that chest. You can also stay right into that Pilates stance too for that inner thigh connection. Four, good, three, two, and one. I want you to bring your arms right here, right here. We're gonna bring the elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades, and then come back up to shoulder height with the elbows. Pull back, and up for two, three, four. Keep going, it's five, and six. Seven, two more to go. Eight, nine, and 10. Great job, guys, okay, but we are gonna do that one more time. Okay, so, feet are parallel. Go start with those straight arms right here. Okay, drop down, pulse up for one, two, three, stand up nice and tall with the knee up. Drop, pulse, two, three, stand up nice and tall. Pulse, two, three, and up tall, one, two, three, up. Nice long arms there, and up. Two, three, and up. We got four more. One, two, three, and lift. Up, two. Okay, this one, we're gonna stay right here. Hold it. Tricep extension, press back. Palms are facing in for the first few. Two more like this. Good job, guys. Okay, so now extend, palms face up. Hold it, drop down, and hold. Good, press up. Two more of these, up. Your last one, bring it down, stand up nice and tall, roll those shoulders back. Take the arms to the side, just press back. It's opening up that chest right here for two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Let's take those arms up again right here. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back and up. Oh no, and up, good. Pull the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades. There you go, guys. Drop it and come on up. Good. I'm gonna go four, four more right after here. So this is four. Press up, three, two, your last one. Whew, and bring it down. Okay, so you're gonna place those weights down to your side right there on the mat. Okay, we're gonna bring that arm up. We're just gonna stretch out those triceps right here. Nice stretch, and just a little stretch over to the side. And then back up center, other side. And just stretch over. Good, we're gonna hold it here for four, three, two. Bring it back to center. Roll those shoulders back. You're gonna take that right arm, we're gonna bring it in front for a stretch. And then after we finish stretching out, we're gonna go into our planks. All the core stuff. Okay, and then hold it here. Just roll those shoulders back down. So we're gonna go out on the floor for the rest of the class. Okay, so we're gonna all come down. We are gonna start with our planks. Okay, so right here, we're gonna get into our plank position. There are different positions you can be in, okay? Um, you could either stay right here, modification, right? 
or you can even go further out with your legs, this position, or the full extension is all the way up. Okay, so Joanne's gonna show you the modification. I will go straight, and we're gonna do a 30 second straight arm plank. Okay, so right here, make sure wrists are under your shoulders. Pull your shoulders down, abs in tight, curl the toes under, so pull the abs in before you lift up. And you're gonna hold it right here, shoulders down. Now remember, if you do get tired, you could always drop down to your knees. So we're gonna go right to that 30 second, make sure you're breathing through this. Abs are pulling in, glutes are nice and tight. You wanna breathe through it. You wanna make sure too, your back. Okay, so you want a nice wide back. So if you start to sink like this, you wanna definitely come out of it. We have five seconds left. Good, three, two, we're gonna lower yourselves down. Sit back for a stretch and hold it right here into your child's pose. And then we're gonna come back up and we're gonna go on to your forearms. So our next 30 second plank will be on your forearms. So we're gonna drop down. Same thing, you can stay with Joanne, she's gonna keep her knees down. I'll go extended, but shoulders down, abs in tight, and lift yourself up, just like so. Pull those shoulder blades down. So you should feel this everywhere, this exercise. Shoulder blades are down, and the abs are pulling in and up. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. <sighs> Whew. <sighs> we got, <sighs> got 10 seconds left. We got this though, you can do it. Keep it going. You can also just drop down with one knee and you can alternate too if you wanna stay up high. You have three, two, and lower yourselves down. Sit yourself back. We're gonna go into your side plank. Okay, so your side plank, you wanna make sure that the elbow is under your shoulder. Okay, modification, which Joanne will show you. She's gonna stay with her leg bent down on the ground. I'm gonna go full extension. All right, so everyone, you're gonna find whatever level you need to do. So ready? So I'm gonna have my feet on top of each other. I'm going up, Joanne will stay on the ground, and we're gonna hold it here for that 30 seconds. And once you get stronger and you go to the full, you can, and then if you do get tired, you can just drop the knee down. So don't be afraid to try to go to that full extension, because you can always come out of it. Where you can have your hand behind your head, make sure the elbow's pointing up or you could have it straight up. But be careful, you don't wanna go all the way back, so reach up to the ceiling on that. You have four more seconds of this. Three, two, and we're gonna lower yourselves down, of course, and we're gonna to go to your other side. Okay, so same position right here. Elbow under shoulder. If you do have shoulder issues, you can even just stay right here. You don't even have to go up at all. Okay, ready? Joanne, ready back there? Okay, up we go. Everything is pulling in towards the center. Breathing through this. You can keep your elbow here. Make sure shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. Halfway there. Good, keep it going. I'll smile. I'll smile, yeah. <laughs> and lower down. Good job on that. Okay, but of course we're going to repeat everything that we just did. So we will be doing another set of your straight arm planks. Two, if you have bad wrists and you want to stay in your forearms for it, that's also fine. Okay, so you can do that. I did forget to tell you that. All right, so back to your straight arm plank, unless you want to go in your forearms. And ready, in three, two, one, lift yourselves up right here, shoulders down. Keep those glutes nice and tight, abs are pulled in. Breathing through this exercise. If you want more of a challenge, what you could do is take your right leg up and hold it for five seconds, or six or whichever, and then you lower down and you lift the other leg. And the thing is you don't wanna add on to the plank unless you feel comfortable with the plank. Straight arm plank, hold it here, lower yourself down. Sit on back, take a nice deep breath in, stretching that lower back out. And then we're gonna come back up and we go right back into that forearm plank. Okay, so everyone, get into your position. Shoulders down, abs in tight, and lift yourselves up. Here we go, right here, holding it here. Two, good. Abs are pulling in and up. Shoulder blades down. Two, halfway. 
10 seconds. Three, two, drop down, sit back. All right, almost there. We got side planks to go and then we'll be laying on our back. So going into your side plank. All right, so shoulder down, make sure elbow under shoulder. Ready, set, and lift yourselves up. You can also go staggered foot position if you prefer to do that. So a nice long neck, hand can go here. If you want to add a little movement, you can add a little dip. You know, that's up to you. I'm going to stay here. Keep going. We got five seconds left, guys. Four, three, two, lower down and right to your other side. Okay. So ready, our last 30 second side plank. Ready, and three, two, and up. Keep those hips up nice and high. Good. Good, counting it down for 10 seconds right here. Two, lower yourselves down. Nice, okay, so from here, what we're gonna do is go onto our back. Okay, so everyone lay right down onto your back. Let me fix my thing here. Okay, so right down, we're gonna take the legs up in the air. Okay, so I want you to really focus on sinking your spine into the mat. We're gonna take your arms to your side, shoulders down. Small movement here, guys. You're gonna inhale and hold it Exhale, pull your abs and lift the legs back up. So inhale as you lower down. Exhale, pull your abs in and lift back up. Be careful on this one. If you go too low, you could possibly arch your back. You don't want to do that. Focus on sinking your spine into that mat. And okay. Joanne has a good point here, and I would tell her to take her hands out from behind, and as you lower down, she wants to think about pulling her abs in and lifting with her abs. Okay, so if you really focus on that movement, you're gonna pull in and up. Okay, so the thing is, it's not about how low you go, it's about what you're doing right there. Okay, nice long, okay, two more. That was a good point though. And last one. And good, okay, bring those legs in right here. You're gonna take your right knee, pull it in, okay? We're gonna bring your chin up over your chest. Your spine is sinking into the mat. We're gonna alternate bringing the knee in. So nice and slow, and you wanna look towards your knees as you do this. Pull in, breathe. Do not hold your breath. Inhale in and exhale. Pull in, and good. Four more, so it's four. Three, two, and one. Take the hands behind your head and start to just twist into it. So elbows should be nice and wide. I want you to think about armpit going towards your knee. A lot of times we do this when it's slow, controlled. So we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug it in, take the legs up. You're not done yet. We're gonna do one more lower and lift. Okay, your spine is sinking to the mat. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, pull your abs in and come back up. Inhale and exhale, good. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, pull up. Good, inhale, lower down and exhale. Do four more, so lower down, lift up. Inhale down, and up. Legs should be nice and long, squeezing those inner thighs together, and good. Now bring it in, hold on to your leg, right leg bends in, left leg extends out, chin over chest right here, and pull in, and pull in. Pull, and pull, two. 
If you have tension in your neck, of course, place it down on the ground. Just focus on keeping those abs in tight. We're gonna do four more, so it's four, three, two, hold it here, take the hands behind your head, twist. Good, twist into it, go nice and deep. One, two, good, exhale. So you wanna exhale on that twist. Inhale, then exhale. So it's basically inhale one side, exhale the other, so you don't hold your breath. Four more of these, so it's four, three, two, and one. Place the feet down on the ground. Okay, so here's a fun one. I call it the swivel. Okay, you have your feet together. Okay, feet are together, knees are out. So you want to, hands behind your head, chin up over chest. So you wanna bring your right elbow to your right knee and then the left. So it's all the oblique, so it's just side to side. How you doing with this one, Joanne? <sighs> okay, so it's a small little movement. Okay, sometimes it takes a little coordination doing this one, but once you get it, it's pretty good. Here we go. So it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Hug your knees in right here. You're done. We're just going to go into a nice little stretch. And you can gently rock side to side right here. Take a nice deep breath in. Okay, you're gonna place your feet down on the floor. We're gonna turn onto your side right here. Okay, so we're just gonna turn. We're gonna come up on all fours right here. Nice flat back, right? Okay, so we're gonna do our cat-cow stretch, right? So we're gonna look up to that ceiling, uh, feel a nice stretch through your abs, and then tuck your chin to your chest, round that back up. Good, so here we go. Inhale as you look up, and exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale up, exhale, chin down. Couple more times. Inhale and exhale. This will be your last one. And exhale. And then just sit yourselves all the way back to child's pose. Walk those arms out. You can open those knees up slightly. Hold it here for three, two, one. Let's take a walk with your hands over to the right side. And think too, stretch that left hand further than your right to get a nice stretch down the left side. Then we're gonna walk it back to your center. And I'll walk it all the way to your other side. Hold the stretch right here. And breathe, take a nice deep breath in, blow it out. Bring it back to your center right here. Good, and just sink into that stretch. And then we're gonna come up to all fours again. And then you're gonna drop down onto your elbows right here, right? Your elbows are right to your side. Pull your shoulder blades down and gently come on up, pulling the elbows in towards you. So feel a nice stretch through your abdominals right there. Take a nice deep breath in, blow it out. One more time, nice deep breath in and blow it out. Now to come on out of it, drop back down, pull your abs in, bring yourselves all the way up to a seated position right here. Just take a nice little seat right here on your mat. You're gonna roll your shoulders back right here. What I want you to do is just take your head gently, tilt it, your ear towards your shoulder, take a nice deep breath in, and blow it out. One more time, nice deep breath in, and blow it out. Bring the head back up, gently take it over to your other side. Focus too on reaching the other hand down towards the floor. And bring it back to center right here. Roll your shoulders back. Let's all take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the workout. See you next time. Thanks.